It's the Pat and JT podcast. Bonus episode. Bonus. Uh, another episode where we're, we're checking in, checking on uh, people in various businesses and, and learning a lot from a lot of people. We've talked to people in the restaurant business. We've talked to personal trainers, um, beauticians. We've talked to... I mean, the, the list Chefs, goes on. Yes. Restaurant right? tours. Yes. Um, and now today we're talking to a banker. Boring. We, we got, <laughs> no, this is the important <laughs> part. We've got uh, Kelly Griefian with us from Northwest Bank. Yeah. And thank you for coming in. No, thank you guys. Um, full just, disclosure, we do business with y'all. We do. <laughs> and, and also full disclosure, we're six feet apart. We haven't touched. We haven't nope. anything. No. And everything's been sanitized. So we're completely following all the rules and regulations. And, and two notes, we appreciate the business and we appreciate being six feet apart. Now. That's right. right. I guess that's yeah. six feet close. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, and now they're saying right? six feet's not enough, I'm hearing. I heard oh. that this morning that somebody from the CDC said maybe it needs to be 10 feet. So finally, those 10, 10 foot, foot poles, poles that I've had ever since high school <laughs> to keep all those chicks yeah. away. What so are you I, doing with those? They're not, just collecting dust. Not anymore. Got them now. I'm going to blow those off. Never nope. needed one. Yep. <laughs> actually, I have. I actually took some from some girls that were trying to keep me away. Looked at her and said, see, you can come to the end. You can come yeah. that close. It's, <laughs> it's like a jousting stick with like a little pillow on the end of it. Gosh, dang it. Hmm. So <laughs> if there's a, if there's a run on 10 foot poles, we'll know just yeah. come yeah. to me, come there to Pat. Go. I'm your hookup. Oh my Got God. Plenty. Um, as we speak, we're, we're, as we're recording this, this is on April fool's day, so, but no fooling. Oh no. Right. It is on April fool's day. And I think they even put a kind of a little suggestive directive out. No fools today. No fooling. I've already because done one. It's so. a little, well, I think they were talking to like the Googles of the world and cause Google oh, gotcha. always likes to do some stuff. Oh, sure. And, and maybe be a little more sensitive right now. And, and I took a screenshot uh, of a, a new story from CNN and I redid the headline that said, <laughs> government recommends children sleep in garage now <laughs> to protect from Corona. And I sent it to both my kids. <laughs> I haven't heard anything back yet. No, it's because oh. they're both still asleep. Yeah, no, because e-learning doesn't start till 10. Really, yeah. <laughs> really creep them out and just start parking in the driveway. Yeah. Like, no, guys, there's <laughs> some there's air, beds in there Air now. mattresses. Oh, yeah. They'll bedroom. believe me. I'll, I love it. So oh hopefully they'll God. find oh, this that's, funny that's as awesome. I did. Perfect. So how have things been going uh, at the bank? And, and what do you, I mean, both from the bank's point of view, how they're handling stuff, and then also, of course, your customers and clients. Sure. Um, speak to the bank part first. Uh, we've been saying it over and over uh, from top down, from our leadership um, at our headquarters, all the way down to the folks here in Omaha. Uh, it, it's been easy to have a clear and concise message, mm -hmm. which we have gotten from our owners, uh, from our president, from our CEO. Uh, it's I think it makes it easier corporation wide uh, when we have those messages of here's how we're going to do it. Um, we know we can do it this way. Maybe it's our time to shine. Um, that's really easy to convey to customers. Sure. Um, and we, Confidence. We, we, yeah. And we don't mm -hmm. just say it um, because we think they want to hear it because, because they know, right. they know if you're faking it. Right. Um, they, they know we're, we're being genuine. And, uh, and we're, we're going to be here to help. And for the most part, I think everybody knows what's going on. And we're all in this together. And I would assume that there is not a ton of pushback from people. And they're all, it's not you. You guys aren't just doing this yourselves. No, because it's, uh, well, obviously, it's it's worldwide. But we've never seen it. I mean, that's people, just it. nobody's been through this before. Mm -hmm. People say no, uncharted like, waters all the time. And you're going, well, yeah, we're yeah. swimming in it now. And especially in this yeah. day and age. Maybe, you know, you talk about the, they were talking about the, the, the grandparents Mm. Uh, they've probably been through, they've been through, they've seen it all. Yeah. Right. And this is just another one that they're, they're coming upon. But for a lot of people, the little things like this is the first time for a lot of families that they've eaten dinner together every night for a couple of weeks in a row. Sure. Yeah. Or uh, they're hanging out together during the day because like the weekends, normally they're all going in different directions, yeah. but now it's every day they're hanging around and they're, they're having to hang out with each other. Board, yeah. board games and doing things that you would do maybe once a quarter and holidays and stuff you're doing every day, which is awesome. It, it's cool. They, uh, they should have had all the members of the family uh, do like some sort of uh, personality test. So we know why people are the way they are. And, <laughs> you know, it, it's going to be yeah. mom and dad's fault that that's why yeah, you yeah, are yeah, that right. way. Yeah, but, right? but then everybody would know I, I can't help it. That's what, you know, just what I, we just I took am. a personality <laughs> test a few days ago. Spot on. And hilarious. We were like, we are, we are, very similar, but very different, mm -hmm. which is really weird. His yeah. strengths are completely my weaknesses and vice versa, mm -hmm. which is weird. But you know. Yeah. But, but you know. now we know, and it's like, well, yeah. yeah, it's like, so tell me something I don't know. I'm looking at his. Right. And I'm like. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it really was. 
we uh, interesting. We did one uh, at the bank as part of the part of the hiring process. Okay, and I printed it out and brought it home for my wife. And I go, "This is why." Sorry, just so you can prepare <laughs> for the next, like, next few uh, weeks. Sorry, this yeah. is what you married. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like you knew this already, but I mean, here's yeah. proof. Signed, this sealed, is, and delivered. This is formal now. Notarized. <laughs> <laughs> that actually would be kind of a fun thing to do with the older kids, with the uh, you know high school, late high school kids. I think that'd be kind of fu- a well, fun know, little practice to do. The yeah. test that we did is that an a ne- a neogram? something like that. Something I think it was called. I can't remember the personality test that we did. Um, Truity.com, in case you missed it. I'll throw that link in the show notes too. It's kind of fun. Um, but they said that you're, you will find your results will change over the course of your life mm. because your what you place importance on and what you value and also the way you handle situations changes with your experience. Oh, and so yeah, that makes sense. Everything kind of does. I became more and more suspicious. Skeptic and investigator were my two top ones. His was, what was your top one? Uh, I think uh, pansy <laughs> no. and doormat. No, it was a... Uh, um, <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even remember. I remember I've got what printed it off. That's hilarious. Bad yeah. memory. <laughs> I trust nobody. He's trying to make everybody happy. Yeah. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. But now you know. But yeah. Now you know. Yeah, I think right. that a lot of people, for when go through going through a situation like this, there's so many things that are uh, they're unsure of, and mm. they 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 don't know what the results are going to be because they've never been through it before. And so, when it comes to their businesses or just their personal finances, they want to make sure they take the right steps. And, and then we hear about the government and the CARES Act. And it's like, this thing is how big? Yeah. How I'm do sure I you find... guys are getting pounded yeah. with questions. We, we are. Um, and again, trying to do the clear and concise one, one message, you know, here's the dates, here's what's pertinent. Not everybody's going to fit into one box. Um, you know, the government is doing, I, I, I think a very good job. Um, of trying to help out and just letting everybody know mm-hmm. we're, we're not, we're not fighting this alone guys. I mean, we are mm-hmm. absolutely in this together 100%. Uh, and again, that's, I think that's something the customers want to hear as well, whether it's personally mm-hmm. or on the business side. So if you're looking for, you know, when you, when you're trying to break this down there, there's things in there that are just for individuals, but little small businesses, they're worried because it's like, well, if I have to make my lease payment, but if they, if they don't make their lease payment, then their landlord doesn't get money. And then the landlord has bills. And then, so it kind of, you know, just trickle each, down. Yeah. Right. It is. It is mm-hmm. a trickle, trickle down, up, trickle down. What? Yeah. And um, way. yeah, you, you don't know, okay, where does that trickle truly start? I mean, is, is that mom and pop in that business? Is that mom and pop at home? Yeah. And then it just, I mean, it can snowball to, you know, where's, where does this end at? Was yeah. there anything in the act that you were particularly impressed with or surprised by or, or even disappointed in? Um, not yet, um, and I'll say that because uh, I have just been trying to read the highlights, mostly the ones that would pertain to the banking industry. Um, some of the information that we have gotten, while it is good, we also know that it is changing mm-hmm. quite often. Um, if I put something out at 1030 today on April Fool's, um, latest and greatest info, there's a yeah. really good chance by 1230 that's out of date. And as with the coronavirus, I mean, every, you wake up every morning and something's different. It's Seriously. spread. It's, it's, there are better ways to protect yourself. And so everything's changing all the time. So that's, I think people are learning patience, if nothing else, because they're learning patience from the government and the virus. And hopefully with businesses like you, that everything changes for you guys. It, it, it's funny you say that word. Um, my daughter, Wrigley, uh, mm-hmm. she's, my wife had to remind me 19 months old. Uh, here in a couple couple my days. My wife had to remind me. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I kept saying seventeen, and, and she kept looking at me, going, well, "What just, month do you think it is?" Just really? two, so, five or like, above. Give it a shove. Yeah, <laughs> she, she's two. <laughs> right, she's two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's how old my dog is. Though. I was say well, say two. About the same. Two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was <laughs> two ESPN commercial, I think, and it had Guns and Roses. And the the uh, patient song. Yeah. Oh yeah. The guy. It's uh, a great song. Axl Rose. Axl Rose. Axl Rose is is uh, it's when he's whistling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Wrigley would look at the TV and just be on it, mesmerized. Yeah. Wow. Would not take her. <gasps> so she's been at home for a while, and uh, if we have to, we give her the phone and we put patience on. She just walks around That's with the awesome. phone listening to that song. That is and crazy. Of all people, it's a great Axel song. Rose. <laughs> right? Yeah, it, 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 seriously. Yeah, it that is it cool. Is. And then you go back and listen to it, mm-hmm. and you're going, hmm. well, this seems to have a lot of 
meaning right it now. really does I mean, <laughs> just a little yeah. patience and and you're right too because people want to you know for so long we've been complaining about prior to this happening the news jumping on stories really fast and not getting them right but getting them out first mm, yeah um mm-hmm. and and now we're seeing how quickly these things are changing and I, I hate to see online when somebody puts an opinion out and other people pile on mm. and it's like well you know what he was right two days ago Precisely. So you give him a little break. Yeah. You know, maybe he just didn't see this newest article that you just read and share it. Right. <laughs> and and especially now, banking industry, we we had some information about the PPP loans. Um, Which are payment protection or oh, payroll? Payroll protection. Okay, that's what through, that is. This is through the CARES Act. There were three Ps, though. Three Ps. You said payroll protection. Is it Proposition? <laughs> proposal. <laughs> proposal. <laughs> Pretty? Is it a pretty? You know, I got forty. Prepared. I got forty-eight pages you know, we'll just, of notes we'll just say here. Two Ps. Two Ps. We're fine. How about, how about Paycheck Protection Program? Perfect. There we go. Well, of I just course, want, I just that's want to obvious. Keep you, just want to keep you accountable. So you said three Ps. You only dropped two. So he lets us sit over here and flounder. Like, right. It's like well, we're all sitting. Like, I, didn't, I didn't take a breath. I'm like this third. Where's the third P? It was just a test. I was okay. looking to you two if, if you had if you had read up on it. Thanks for that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thanks for that. Uh, we had information that came out yesterday, being Tuesday. Okay. Um, but we fully expect that information to change a couple times uh, yeah. before yeah. the end of the week. Wow. Um, and and rightfully so. I mean, it's right. if it wasn't fluid, it'd be scary, quite honestly. Yeah. Well, honestly, I think that with any bank, if you, a small business, having a good relationship with your banker is like key so you don't get frantic. Yes. Um, and understand that things are going to be changing because people don't want to miss a deadline. Um, and, and they're, they're like, yeah. oh, do I have to get this in by? Yes. Uh, yes. What, what happens if I don't? Mm-hmm. You but, know? Yeah. Okay. I, I see a date here of June 30th. Does that mean I have to apply by then? Do I need my funds by then? W- what does that mean? All very good questions and meaningful. Um, but we can only interpret it a certain way and say, if I read this right, you need to just apply by that date. So again, fluid. Yeah, Changes. and just do it as soon. Don't wait around. If you think you may, may be needing it or wanting it potentially, you may never take it. But if just at least get the paperwork done sooner rather than later. There's yeah, no way. Yeah, so two two types of these loans: the PPP one, um, which we know what that stands for, mm-hmm. and then uh, <laughs> there were SBA administered disaster mm-hmm. loans, which you apply for online through the SBA. Um, those were uh, rough going at the beginning of the application stage. Um, the SBA tried as, as yeah. hard as they could to make that a seamless process. They have redone it now as of Monday. Um, those are loans that you can apply for through the SBA. If you get approved, you don't have to take them. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, there, I don't believe there's any issue with getting in the queue. So right. to speak okay. on something good. Like Well, that's that. good to know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So any parting words? You're thinking about just, just moving forward here. Your clients have been a pretty, yeah, pretty how's everybody easy doing? going so far. Like you've had, you know, I mean, you don't have to call anybody out, but like it's all, <laughs> I was just there yesterday. It's all through the drive through. It was fast. It was quick. It was easy. Any yeah. issues? Yeah. No. Um, so we are, uh, we are still open in our lobbies by appointment only. Okay. Um, so we have the availability to go into the office instead of just working from home, which um, again, my wife might kill me, but I, think that's probably just as easy on her when I go in. Guarantee. Um, inst- <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee there's no question. She highly it's, endorses it. Yes. In, instead of <laughs> me walking up the stairs with a cell phone and then just pacing around the house yes. oh my God, uh, yes. doing that. But uh, yeah. no, I, customers have been great. Um, they fully understand uh, the lines of communication now are more important than they they ever have been. Have you guys been taking advantage of uh, as far as technology and doing any remote meetings? Uh, we have, people, yeah. we have been doing remote meetings, uh, every Monday. Um, we have been doing okay. those, um, you know, some, some enhancements, uh, we can up the amount that you can deposit through your phone. Nice. If you're nervous about trying to get to the bank to deposit yeah. something, That's a cool. remote deposit capture is always something big that we can do. So we use that a lot. Trying to be flexible <laughs> with thank God right. with uh, yeah. with business owners like that. But no, yeah. customers have been. And I think people on the okay. other side of this are going to not on the personal side are going to be um, more grateful for for things in the future for the modern everyday conveniences. And on the business side, the the relationships I think that they're building now with their mortgage yeah. company, bank, but whatever it is, they're going to they're going to cherish a little bit more and be a little more patient huge and uh 
everybody, if they have been re- work, work, working remotely, yeah. um, thank your IT people as well. This is right? true. Um, I mean, you have large corporations that work fully from home Hunter, now. I can't even, I have to oh even my, think about that. It's yeah. true. I mean, you think about the, would it be the bandwidth? Or, you know, the amount, the, the, bandwidth, the internet, yeah. we're using all the internet right now. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like going golfing and you're using the fairway and the rough. Yeah. You're using the entire, but you paid for it, might as well. What's, so, yeah, then, what's a fairway? Right? And, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's the part you drive your cart on when you're looking in the deep stuff. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah. It's the road. Uh-huh. It's the road, the big road, big grass road. The, the direct path to the next hole. Um, but, but yeah, it, it's, it is amazing because you think about the number of people that are online every day and not only the people that are at home, but then you've got the corporations that are dealing with well doing yeah. business. Yes. Yeah. 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 Super. Well, thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you guys. This is and, fantastic. Uh, I appreciate it. It's good to see you from good. six feet yeah. away. Yeah. Isn't from that a country song? Away. Six feet away. From six feet away. Five minutes more with so whatever. Uh, what's your yeah, whatever? And, whatever. <laughs> and what's the website, Kelly? If people want to ch- check up on the bank. www.bank-northwest.com. Uh, okay. Um, info on any of the information that we have talked about regarding SBA loans. Um, SBA.gov. Make sure anything you're doing is .gov. Um, yes. <laughs> unfortunately, in times like this. Yeah. Uh, Fraudsters also know that people are panicking. Um, So be diligent when you are searching around online. Okay. Don't just click the link. No. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day. See you back. See you back. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production. Bonus.